Under his direction, the Chamber has embraced a new era of business leadership that blends the best of traditional Chamber with today's necessity for top-notch and powerful business advocacy. For more than a hundred years, the Chamber of Medford and Jackson County has helped local businesses succeed in the Rogue Valley. And during the last 21 years, they have especially benefited from the leadership and advocacy of Chamber President and CEO Brad Hicks, who is now retiring. It's not hard to see why he's been called Southern Oregon's business leader. It is with great pleasure that we, the Jackson County Board of Commissioners, recognize Mr. Brad Hicks for 21 years of service to our community as President and CEO of the Chamber of Medford and Jackson County. Brad has been called Southern Oregon's business leader. Under his direction, the Chamber has embraced a new era of business leadership that blends the best of traditional Chamber with today's necessity for top-notch and powerful business advocacy. During his tenure at the helm of the Chamber, Brad has grown the Chamber into one of the state's largest and one of the longest standing business associations. The Chamber has strengthened the region's economy by investing in transportation, enhancing our health system, improving education, and expanding international business. The Chamber was also the driving force behind the Southern Oregon University Road Community College Higher Education Center, a movement to enhance Medford's downtown core, and one of the supported one that supported unprecedented investment in Medford's Central Business District. This, in addition to the Chamber's efforts to support the development of the Lithia Commons and the One West Main projects. Brad is often sought out for his perspective on business and political issues. Sometimes his sports uh, knowledge as well, but that's probably not part of this. He has been featured on the CBS Early Show, on Fox News, in the Los Angeles Times, in the San Francisco Chronicle, in Fortune, the Wall Street Journal, and in Forbes. Today, under Brad's leadership, the Chamber continues to support pro-business policies that will provide enduring benefits for the state's economy. As a member of the United States Chamber of Commerce, Committee of 100, he is widely regarded as one of the top influencers in the Oregon political landscape and the Chamber industry in the United States. Brad recently completed a successful term as Chairman of the Board of the Western Association of Chamber Executives. Additionally, Brad has earned the Certified Chamber Executive CCE certification, making him the only current Chamber CEO to hold that designation in the state of Oregon. The CCE certification is considered the highest professional development designation in the Chamber of Commerce industry. It's just a little over 500 individuals in the United States achieving the feat in over 50 years. Very impressive. Brad can relate well with the members of his chamber when it comes to the trials and tribulations of small business ownership. In addition to representing the interests of small business owners for over two decades, Brad is a successful business owner in his own right. He's been an owner, partner of a multi-store franchise for over a decade, a multi-store independent operator in the drive through oil chain service industry in southwestern Oregon and Northern California. Following his upcoming retirement, Brad will maintain an advisory role with the Chamber for the next 12 months. When Brad was asked, why now? He replied, while I could always find new reasons to continue on, I wanted to get the Chamber back on solid footing, help our business community and the community at large through the darkest days of the pandemic, as well as through the catastrophic fires by helping to secure financial relief and advocacy direction. Now that it appears there is light at the end of the tunnel, I feel good about passing the torch. So Brad, on behalf of the Jackson County Board of Commissioners, congratulations on your 21 years as President and CEO of the Chamber of Medford and Jackson County, and we thank you for your outstanding dedication and service to our community. There's one more page. And it's just a super page, so I don't need to read that. But again, congratulations. Brad, I don't need to add very much more to that, but I just, uh, I also count you as not only a community leader, but I count you as a friend also, and I really appreciate it through the years, your uh, sage advice. And thank you. I wish you the best of luck. In retirement, I hope you're more successful at it than I have been. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say just thank you for all you've done, and I can't imagine at your age being able to retire, but I suppose you really aren't. You're just going on to other things and um, your influence will always be there. And I just know the short time I've been involved with the Medford Chamber Forum, it's nothing short of amazing how it's grown and um, 
the uh, advocacy for the local businesses has never been so needed with our state direction <laughs> that's so anti-business. So thank you. I think it, more is needed and I bet Eli's just got big shoes to fill. So thank you for that support for our businesses that you've given and you'll probably continue to give. So thank you. So when Brad and I met, I had grown up here, but I was living in Arizona. And we, uh, when we got engaged, he said, well, why don't you move to Arizona? And he said something to me that can really convince me. He said, you know what? I could move down to Arizona and I could go to work in the chamber down there. I know all the people and I love them. But he said, but my passion is for Southern Oregon. It's my home. It's my community. This is where our family is. And that is where I want to be. And when he said the word passion, I was like, okay, you got me. It's like, I mean, okay, if that, if that is what you really love, then I'll come back home and serve by you. And it's, it's been an honor. It's been, I've had to share him. And uh, he's um, made a lot of personal sacrifices uh, to be there for people and businesses. But I'm very proud of you. And, uh, and it's been an honor to, to be by your side. So, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, I've, I've been in this room uh, on many, many occasions, and, uh, and they've typically been uh, fever-pitched battles over something. Um, so it's nice, to, it's nice to be in this room on a, a little bit more gentle <laughs> occasion, um, especially to hear uh, Rick say some nice things about me. In the uh, 40 years that we've been friends, uh, I think that's a first. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, I thought they were written for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, somebody did a very nice job. Um, I, I, you've got other real business to get to, so I'm not going to take long. Um, but it, it is true. Uh, we grew up in Grants Pass together, and my parents were small business owners, and they went bankrupt in the recession of the early '80s. And because people ask me, how did you? get into the Chamber of Commerce business and, and I remember thinking if my parents had had an organization like the one I intended to, to build, maybe they would have made it. So they were, you know, they were a statistic uh, after the recession in the early 80s and, and it really did sort of fuel my passion to help small business people be successful. I went away and worked in the legislature and in Congress and, and uh, gained some valuable experience there, but I still wanted to come home to Southern Oregon. And I remember uh, driving around looking for a building with a dome on it because that's all I'd ever worked in. And uh, <laughs> I couldn't find any. So I walked in and, and dropped off a resume at the chamber and the rest is history. That was almost 29 years ago um, that I first walked through those doors and dropped off a resume. It's been an honor and a privilege and and I want to say to Danny and all of you at the county how proud I am of our county. And I've said this before, but when I first came to work at the chamber, some of our regular work was holding Jackson County accountable. And to a whole variety of things. Um, not spending as much, uh, saving a little more, uh, all sorts of things. And, and over the course of my career, the uh, stewardship of this county has has gone from really one of the worst to one of the best, maybe the best um, managed county in our state. And, and I don't think people realize what a big deal that is. Uh, so thank you. I really appreciate everything that you've done and appreciate all the kind words. Thank you. <laughs>